Republicans in the U.S. Congress urged President Joe Biden to make demands of China's leader Xi Jinping over detained Americans and other issues when they meet next week in San Francisco. Arguing that Washington's push to engage Beijing had negligible benefit. The Biden Xi meeting around events at the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC Forum will follow a series of largely unreciprocated U.S. cabinet level visits to China. As the U.S. seeks to recover from a diplomatic crisis over its downing of a suspected Chinese spy balloon flying over the United States in February, Republicans and Democrats in Congress have offered sometimes different approaches for countering China's growing economic and military might despite bipartisan consensus on the need to do so. The 13 Republicans on the House of Representatives Bipartisan Select Committee on China, led by Chairman Mike Gallagher, credited the Biden administration in a letter made public on Thursday for strengthened semiconductor export controls and restrictions on outbound investment toward China. But they asked Mr. Biden to present Mr. Xi with a list of 10 demands to improve relations, much like Beijing did to U.S. officials in 2021. Their demands included that China release all Americans the U.S. considers wrongfully detained. Take measures over the flow of chemicals used in the opiate fentanyl, seize unsafe intercepts of U.S. ships and aircraft in international waters, and stop the harassment of Philippine ships around a disputed shoal in the South China Sea. The lawmakers said they shared Mr. Biden's desire to deter a conflict but that the president's engagement push had come at an unacceptable cost to competitive or defensive actions that have been delayed, scuttled, or otherwise dropped. So far, these very real trade-offs have led to negligible benefit, they said. Meanwhile, the letter said Beijing had taken no steps to stop military provocations in the South China Sea or towards the democratically governed island of Taiwan, which China claims as its own. The U.S. also had taken few recent actions towards China specifically regarding human rights issues, the lawmakers wrote, adding that for nearly two years the U.S. had not impose sanctions on Chinese officials over the erosion of Hong Kong's autonomy or for allegations of rights abuses in China's Xinjiang region and had not expanded trade restrictions under the Treasury Department's Chinese Military Industrial Complex Companies list. It is clear that competitive actions have been sacrificed to advance aimless, zombie-like engagement, they said. The White House did not respond immediately to a request for comment on the letter. China denies allegations by Western governments that it abuses human rights. Families of Americans, the U.S. government has classified as wrongfully detained in China, including Texas-based businessman Mark Swiden. Chinese-American Kai Li and Pastor David Lin have also repeatedly urged the government to prioritize the release of their loved ones in talks with Chinese officials. China says such cases are handled according to law.